What would you do if your true love left you on your wedding day? Would you melt down in tears, beg him to come back, or seek sweet revenge? I'm Geneva Holiday, and in my new book, Seduction, ugly duckling Mildred Johnson thinks she's the last woman on earth who would attract a hot, intelligent, and rich man. So when a bouquet of flowers arrives at her desk from Tony Landry, the incredibly sexy new man at the Wall Street firm where she's a secretary, she thinks she's died and gone to heaven. Just the thought of him fills her with lust and desire. Desperate to believe Tony's affections are for real, she falls for each one of his lies. Before Tony, Mildred's sex life consisted of a phone and a vibrator. But when she gives up her virginity to him in a steamy night of passion, he pushes all the right buttons and she experiences pleasure like she's never felt before. There's a lover in my life he sends me gifts and flowers. Now that she's fallen under his erotic spell, she's willing to risk everything for him, even if it means robbing her company of thousands of dollars. But when their wedding day arrives, Tony skips town with the money, leaving Mildred high and dry at City Hall in a $6,000 wedding gown. Mildred's heart is shattered, her self-esteem destroyed. However, if you remember Geneva and Chevy from my previous books, Groove, Fever, and Heat, you'll know that Mildred's friends will never let her wallow in self-pity. Instead, they send Mildred off to Barbados for a little vacation, which to her surprise, turns out to be a crash weight loss boot camp. Even more shocking, Tony Landry, his own bad self, shows up on the beach. But when he doesn't recognize Mildred in her new sexy body, she devises a plan of wicked revenge and proves once and for all that seduction works both ways. Read Seduction today, and for more delicious fun, please check out my previous books, Groove, Fever, and Heat. Warning, they're all extremely hot. <laughs>